destroy them in their deceit in their craftiness let the hand of god locate them let the hand of god bring them down let the hand of god destroy them anyone when they enter you enter your house enter your children enter your family to always pretend as if he wants to know the problem you are going through anyone that is coming to collect information from you from your house you see me against you somebody shout holy ghost anyone that is so close to you coming to collect information coming to know how your body now you say you know where yesterday uh, they manage the only waste i call the fee he will also go back to the kovu and say i was even there he said the only waste May we not relent to, may we not leave our more. That waste is not going to take and work again. I prophesy that everyone that is under cover of darkness, that is pretending to help you, that is pretending to support you, that is pretending to be your friend, and is the one that they are using against you. As I lay my leg on this altar, I prophesy for your sake they shall collapse. For your sake they shall collapse. God shall expose them. God shall open your eyes to see them. Anyone carrying the matter of your children to the cover. Anyone carrying the matter of your husband to the cover. Anyone carrying the matter of your house to the cover. Anyone that is representing your children, representing you in an evil meeting. Their desire is to inflict you with sickness. Their desire is to make sure your children never move forward. Their desire is to make sure nobody is well in that house. From one hospital to another. Kapalo Surya, Shukale, Kapalo Siyalamadosa. I prophesy, let the judgment of God, let the hammer of God, let the fire of God snuff them out, snuff them out, snuff them out. Anywhere they are hiding, under any cover, anywhere they are hiding, whatever they are using to cover themselves, so that you will not discover them. Today, fire enter them, fire enter them, fire enter them, fire enter them, fire enter them. Shout expose by fire. Ah, ah. Now you they do me, now you they kill me. Now you they chop with me, now you want make a die. Now you they ask me how your body. Now you still got to increase the sickness. They shall die for your sin. Akapalo si alamadosa. Eretete balo si alamado. Esutelia. I prophesy the God of the innocent. The God who sees in the dark. The God who knows what you don't know. The God who is always in every meeting. In every meeting. In every meeting. They want, I mean, am I talking to somebody? He is a silent listener. Reduce your listen to every conversation. I decree and declare that God who said heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool, that God before whom nothing shall be hidden. I decree that God shall carry your battle. He shall fight your battle. He shall fight your battle. He shall fight your battle. Those who say your matter not go let them leave. Those who say unless I die. Those who say unless I die. Help me shout they shall die. You are not talking. You are not talking. Help me shout they shall die. I give Bob yourself. I give Bob yourself. On all I go, your side. Who am I? I tell you. I give for your side. I give for your side. On all I go, your side. Who am I? I tell you. Who am I? I tell you. Who am I? I tell you.
Nigeria is where they are carrying my name to. The God of the innocent will carry my fight. Oh, you are not hearing me. The God of the innocent shall fight your battle. What you don't know about will not take your head. What you don't know about shall not swallow your children. Those who are busy cooking evil. The Bible says, He that plow evil shall reap the shame. Those who are planting evil, whatever a man plants, he will sow. Those who say their desire is to use evil to fight you, God shall reverse it back on their head. Amen. Let your amen be better. Amen. See that I hear me. Evil world. What did I say? Evil world. Evil world. Evil world. I told you of a young girl whose senior sister was married to a pastor. One of my sons in the law. From Uhele, the lady. The woman will carry pregnancy. Six months, the baby will die in the womb. First one, second one. When it was the third one, the mother brought the junior sister to me in a coma for prayers by the grace of God. And as we began to pray, the demon was talking through her. The sister was so terrible that she told me that if she's traveling from Benin to Ekoma, she doesn't need a car. She came to Ekoma one of the days, almost before daybreak around five, and the mother was asking, how you take home from Benin? She disappears. You may say, uh -uh, I'm telling you, the world will leave it. Long story cut short. As we were praying, the demon was stubborn anyway. The demon said, I will never go. I said, you must go. When power meets with power, there must be a displacement. One must be displaced. And the power of God is the superpower. I have seen things apart from what the Bible wrote. And I can tell you, this world is a wicked place. Long story cut short as she delivered. Remember, the sister was also around this time of six months world pregnancy. I asked her, what did it happen to your sister? When he said, oh, carry belly, he go down. He said, my senior sister was one of us. Not only that she was delivered, she left us. That one not pain us. He go marry pastor. Pastors won't be our enemies. Not be saying leave us, now they pain us. But he go marry pastor. And so the queen told me to bring anything belonging to her. I brought, I, I mean, she, the black underwear that she gave me, I took it to the kingdom. And then the queen used some concussion to rub, to rub the material and dug the ground and bury it. You know what underwear is? That means anything connected to this part, it will never see the light of the day. Who they do you? Who carry your material? And this time around, I don't know what brought them from their station. They came to my house. Either the following day or so, the man and the woman, and I asked the lady, do you have black underwear that you gave to so-so person? Eh? Okay, my wife used to remember saying this more than me. He said, the man came to my house to ask me to pray for the wife. That it is already six months. That is a benchmark for them in the spirit world. It's already the critical time where the baby will either stay or go down. Remember, it was their first child. Six months, Belay will be like this. Before you know, they go to ask and say, what's happened? You don't go. You don't go. Disappear. This was the third one. He said, he brought him and said, Pastor, Daddy, pray for my wife. And I was asking, were you at any time having black one? He said, yes. Did you give one to this girl? He said, yes. I said, when I saw I go ask, he said, Pastor, no, talk too much. We don't already hear, say, my sister, they confess. 
Do you know that there are some of them you help? The help when you do for them, they turn it against you. Oh, they are not hearing me. Listen, the Bible said the man's enemies are members of his house. Not just your father and your mother's house, your close friend. Anyone that you do help, that you gave things to, that you dash clothes, you dash anything, and they decide to say, because of that, you will never marry. Because of that, you will never have children. Whatever that belongs to you, that they are using against you in the spirit world, somebody shall catch fire. Shall catch fire. The fire of God shall enter. Who carried your picture to the river? Who carried your cloth to the river? Who carried your picture to the native doctor Shira? Stand up and shout fire! fire. Shout fire! fire. Shout fire! Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything about your children, whether they are picture, whether they are clothes, that they carry from you and took it to any occultic kingdom they lock it up inside the pot and say that that boy will never see the light of the day shall fire that was how we prayed and guess what the lady that one could not go down again Somebody said there's power in prayers. Power do it. It change hands. Power will change hands in your house. The, baby, the pregnancy stayed and she delivered twin with that child. That would have again gone down to the earth. You can see the wickedness of the evil ones. Evil world. Somebody say evil world. Sir, not the outside that they do. I mean the one when he's senior. The same father, the same mother. How many I don't see? How many? What about wife to husband? What about if Mama Jato was there that I said I was in a meeting in Uromi, revival meeting, Ubedu? That a lady's child was sick. I'm trying to describe to you how bad this world is. This is not my message. And the lady's child was sick. And the mother-in-law and the sister-in-law, they were happy to say, who won't kill our grandchild? Who won't kill our brother Pekin? They were carrying her from church to church. They went to Apostolic along Obedu Road. You know assemblies in Obedu Road, Uromi. As they were coming, we were in a revival. By the grace of God, I was the guest invited. They enter. Then we still enter here because the child at the back was what? Dying. Who they do you when they pretend? Fire shall expose them. And as we began to pray, the mother of the child was dancing at Jasco. Was dancing at Jasco. And Reverend Jato, pastor, you here now, you know him. Reverend Jato tapped me and said, okay, Which one be this one? I said, Leave her. Maybe with the cooker, Ori, the, the market go rich. January, the Kia said, She was dancing, dancing at Jasco. I met her and I tapped her. Who are you? What did he even say? What did she even say? Eh? <laughs> I forget this because many years ago. She said, I am a destroyer. Say, what did the destroyer? He said, I'm a destroyer. I slice my picking for tree. I they hawk and they go for the other side. Make una come back. Ah! Who is it that is hawking your glory? Who is it that is hawking your money? Who is it that is hawking your children? Who is it that is hawking your, your, your destiny? Who is it that is hawking your star? Lift yourself up and say, Die by fire! Ah! Who is hawking your job? Who is hawking your glory? Who is hawking your star? 
who is hawking your finance who is hawking the destiny of your children shout from today they die by fire die by fire what a wicked war what a wicked war and yet now you they hawk your picking now you slice and say make the come back now you see they cry they won't keep my picking oh Mama, they won't keep my picking. I be more like, oh my God, what a wicked war! What an evil war! Thank somebody said, thank God for God. Did I see it? Did I know who she was? But our Father knows. Mama, give me Proverbs chapter fifteen verse three. Our Father sees everything. Proverbs 15 3. Our Father sees everything. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13, the Bible says, All things are naked before Him to whom we must give account. Look at this place. It says, The eyes of the Lord are what? Please read for me. You see, if you if you if you have if you if you know the scriptures, if you understand the scriptures, you will not fear. Oh my, am I am I talking, sir? The eyes of the Lord are in what? They are in the covenant. They are in that meeting where they discuss your matter every night. I don't know if I'm talking to people. The eyes of God are in that covenant. The eyes of God is in that native daughter. Where then they discuss your children matter. God, they look them and nyanya. That God shall blind their eyes. That God shall fight them. That God shall carry your matter upon himself. Shout, I hear you. You, sir. The eyes of God are everywhere. See both the good and what? That's why before they kill you, they will have to kill God. That's why before they afflict you with sickness, they have to afflict God. Why do you think the other day when they gather and say, what do we give him? I told you, I heard in my spirit. Make we give him a stroke. Who say, come me. God agree with them. Wait till God not put on, he go walk. Why you they fear? Why you they fear? For those of you here, this is the never plan how many times to make sure you die this year. Beauty, the other day you know what you see. Abby, today shame never catch them. They will continue to see shame. And you will continue to shine. Your children will continue to shine. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. Those who are waiting for you to go down. Those who are waiting for you to be in the grave. Those who are waiting for you to collapse. They shall be disappointed. Amen. Now your power. The eyes of God is everywhere. Why they throw something for you say make you die for your room. God was watching them. Ah, yeah, yeah. Why are you the fear? I be you no no say Jehovah na God. I be you no no say Jehovah na God. I be you no no say. I be you no sabi amo. I be you no no say. Abi, you know no say. Give me that beat. Jehovah, no say. Abi, you know 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 no say. Jehovah, no God. Abi, you know no say. Abi, you know no say. Abi, you know no say. Jehovah, no God. Abi, you know no say. Jesus, my God. Abi, you know no say. Jehovah, my God. Abi, you know no say. Na ole ibi God. Abi, you know no say. Jehovah, my God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a great, great God. He's a mighty God. Every power bow before Him. He's a mighty. Jesus, we shall bow before Him. Oh, He's a 
Status at a point or the other, if we are not careful, we can be afraid. Just imagine the other day that Nigerians were planning end bad governance protest. A whole president with all the army in his disposal, all of them were G3. They were unsettled. Fear. Somebody say fear. fear. What is fear? It's an arrest, I mean, emotional response to some perceived or threat, to some perceived or danger. And this emotional response could lead you to take an action, either flight or fight. It could lead you to take what? An action, either what? Flight. You run or you stand and do what? Fight. But for the Christians, we don't take to flight. We fight. Are you afraid? Did the Bible not tell you that you are not wrestling against flesh and blood? Did he not tell you? Since God has promised that the battle is not my own, that he will fight, should I be afraid? Should I run? You will not run. Whatever is confronting you, you will confront them. I said so many things about fear the other time. I just want to bring it back as an introduction. But let's look at these reasons, 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 reasons. Because this is the second part of the message. Let's look at this this way. Like I told you, fear is not of God. What did I say? It's satanic. Because God even told us, fear not. That phrase, fear not, was used about 63 times in the Bible. Fear not, I am your God. Fear not, I will help you. Give me Isaiah chapter 41 from verse 8. Fear not, fear not, fear not. And yet... Even pastors, reverence, they still they do what? Fear. Are you not seeing it's a very bad thing? Everybody read. I said Isaiah 41 8. 41 8. Please be fast and change it. What did he say? What did they worry themselves? But thou, Israel, are my servant. Thou, O Koji, you are my what? Servant. O Koji, whom I have chosen. The seed of who? Abraham. You can put your name. I'm putting my name. It's for me. God is talking to me. I don't know whether he's talking to you. Is he talking to you? Verse 9. Please go ahead. What did he say? Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. Thou Okoje whom I have taken from far Ekoewu. Thou Obo whom I have taken from far Uboha. I have called you by your name. I have called you and separated you from your men, from your people. And I said unto you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and I have not rejected you. Ay, ay, ay. Fear thou not. Look at somebody and say, fear not. You are not talking to somebody. Are you sleeping? Tell the person, fear not. I don't know what you are seeing in the night. I don't know the bad news they told you that's about happening to your children. And you know they sleep because of that one. I don't know what even your children discuss with you on the phone, how they are troubling them in their company. And because of that, you know they sleep again. 
But God is telling you this. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God is telling you, fear not. What did he say? Did I tell you to remove it? He said, be not dismayed. That means don't be discouraged. For I am your God. Ah, yeah, yeah. The Bible said, blessed is he who has a God of Israel as his Lord. Oh my, are they here with me? We are not talking about Oromila. We are not talking about Osopika. We are not talking about Ogu Emato. We are not talking about Oloku. We are talking about Jehovah. The I am that I am. The one who existed before all things. The one that does not sleep. The one that cannot die. The one that no power in the whole world. Let the whole world gather against him. They shall go down. The one that nobody can ever break down. I am telling you the God who is the ancient of days, the I am that I am, the one that has remained millions of years ago, he remains the same. He does not grow old. He does not grow tired. He is from everlasting to everlasting. All powerful. All knowing. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He says, I am your God. I am your God. I am your God. Jehovah is your God. You are not serving a local. You are not serving a Shabika. You are not serving a Romila. You are not serving my man God. You are serving the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The President of Presidents. The King of the Universe. The one who sits in the heaven. The one who put his leg on the earth. The one who sits upon the cycles of the earth. The I am that I am. The one who does not die. Shout I hear you. It's not a man. What did I say? It's not a man. Man can promise and fail. But what God will not do, he will not say. And what he says, he must do. What God cannot do like they say can, does not exist. With him, all things, all things, all things, even those things you think will never be, he will surprise you. That God is telling you this morning, fear not. He said, for I am your God. What a blessed hope, what a blessed joy. That the God who created me, the God who created the heavens and the earth, sir, is my God. Not be the one when they type for waste. Not be the one when they inside bedroom. Not be the one who cook and when they type for door. I am talking about the Alpha and Omega. The one who says, I alone I am God. He says, I kill and I make a lie. He says, Who can deliver from my hand? Deuteronomy 32 39. He said, I alone I am God. Now the God now lay in the top half of chest. The one who does not die. Might be your God. Not be Jagabano. Not be Buhario. Not be one year year priest priest. Not be a local princess. He says, fear not. Can you please bring it? He says, fear not. Tell somebody, don't fear. He said, for I am your God. Look at what he said. He said, I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. What else do you want him to tell you? He said, go, pastor, we even they see him. You know they see him, but then they see you. It's closer to you than the clothes you put in your body. He said, I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He said, behold, all they that were incensed, that are, that are angry against you, that are gathering against you, he said, they shall be ashamed. They will be confused. They shall be as nothing. And those who are striving with you, fighting with you, they shall perish. If you don't want it to happen to you, if you don't want it to happen to your enemy, not say amen. If you want it to happen to your enemy from today, as I hear your loudest amen, your enemies are collapsing. He said, those who are fighting me, tell somebody better take time. Tell 
Tell and say I be high. I be high tension. No. Tell and say I be high tension. No. Now say be careful. Now say not try my God. No. Tell and say I carry fire. Ah yeah yeah. He said those who are fighting me they shall perish. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. He said you will look for them. You will not see them. They will soon start disappearing from your house. From your village. Those who they both say, you, do you know me? One said one time, yeah, if, your boy, you know, if I put on for your eye, go come out. But today he's in the grave. Now you go attend their burial. Oh, they are not hearing me. They are not hearing me. Obo, now you go attend their burial. Don't say as to the young, like young boy. Go see them. Some of them, they want place with sickness. Those who never wanted you to be anything. God, don't bring them down. He said, even them that contend with you, they that war against you shall be as nothing. Those who they carry war to your house every night, they will be as what? Nothing. Tell somebody, fear not. No wonder David understood all these things. And David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I will not lack anything. I will not lack support. I will not lack anything. In verse 5, he said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear. Ask the person, but why you they fear them? Why ordinary fever you they fear? Ask him. Then I say from today, no fear again, no. Shout fire. Fear is not of God. Second Timothy 1 7. God has not given us the spirit of fear. The contest we read, there are many things we need to see there. Number one, David knew that he has a shepherd. Number two, he knew that he cannot lack the help of the shepherd. Number three. He said, God is the one leading me. He leads me beside what? The still water. Mama, welcome. Home. I've been a ghost at the sea there. Now, person, it is well. David said, He makes me to lie down in green pasture. Because he is with me, I am at rest in his presence. Tell somebody you are at rest in his presence. Tell them, say, why you they trouble yourself? You day with your papa, you still they trouble yourself. Tell them. Tell them, say, relax. You are at rest in his presence. Number five, he said, God is with me. Number six, he knows that God has anointed him. All of you here, God has anointed you. Not be only pastor God anointed you. We are only having different functions. Number six, he knew. He said he is dwelling. Not occasional command to the church. He said, I will dwell in the presence of the Lord. Tell somebody, dwell. Tell the person, don't be a visitor to God's presence. And verse 7, the last. It said, goodness and mercy. They are the only ones that are my portion. Evil can never be my portion. I want to round up. Now, I want you to know this, that fear and unbelief go together. What did I say? Take note of that. Fear and what? Unbelief. They are brothers and sisters. When I mean unbelief, it's not just those who are smoking Igbo at home. There are unbelievers even inside the church. Every little thing. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Gay man. Gay man. Oh, daddy. My own don't finish. Who tells you your own don't finish? Oh, when my for when you were teen, you know the song. 
Simon and Mewa no more thing here. God no they forget the person when he depend on her. Who tell you say your own not finish? The woman's daughter was delivering yesterday. How many times he go call, call, call? I don't know whether she's even in the church this morning. Call, call, call. I said I don't pray for her. Help the neighbor, man. Where is your faith? Listen to me. Faith and worry, they are not together. Oh, they are not hearing me. Faith and worry, they are never friends. Is it that you have faith with rest or you have anxiety with fear? Take note of what I'm saying. Is it that you have faith with rest or you have anxiety with what? Fear. Or fear and what? Anxiety. Faith. I mean, fear and unbelief, they are twin brothers. Why faith and belief, they are also what? Brother, let me tell you, God says, without faith, impossible. Somebody say impossible. Without faith, you are just wasting your time coming to the church. You won't get anything from God. May that not be your portion. Can we quickly look at this? I will stop here. Reasons. If you are writing reasons why. I will not fear. Or reasons why you will not fear evil. Number one. I want to rush it. Next time I'll complete the message. Number one. You are born of God. Tell somebody you are born of God. Tell somebody the nature of God is in you. First John chapter 4, 5 verse 4. Please display that. And if the life of God is inside you, can they kill God? Can God be sick? Can sickness overpower God? He said, for whatsoever is born of God is what? It's an overcomer. He said, whoever, what is that? Whatsoever is born of God overcoming the world. And this is the victory. Tell somebody this is the victory. What is the victory? That I am born of God. I am an overcomer. Whether people want to believe it or not. Every battle I win. Oh my God. Every battle, sir, you must win. Oh, they are not hearing me. I say every battle, we are bound to win. God can never lose a battle. His life is in us. His life, his DNA, his spirit is in us. We are born of God. That's one reason I don't need to fear. You know what it is? My body don't see. <laughs> you know what it don't see? You know arrows. You know sickness. And yet every day I see the young. Every day I see the strong. The more I grow, the more my age increases, the more younger I become. Because the life of God is in me. The life of God is in you. Why? Look at somebody say, why you the fear? I be you know no say God might be your papa. People upon all this and say, just let somebody hear phone call now say in daughter when there Abuja. Say the Russian. You know they even know whether I'm for one now. Oh, 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 oh. You know, my wife told me that I mean something happened in that manner. And they were almost trying to scam the headmistress. They were she wasn't going to, to pay. Her. They said bring 150, they don't rush and go hospital. You know. He said, gas don't burn now. Now then, gas go burn, don't be your bikini. And the woman, he go, I don't know whether he fall for ground, you know, for some of you. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Eh? For some. Pastor, we've got society is wet. Wet it wet. Wet it wet. They say, gas don't burn my bikini. They say, it is wet. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Especially women. Even the man who said, My wife, when did relax kill you? Relax kill you. You don't know, say you, you don't get feeling for your picky. They say my picky. You don't get that. You don't say I relax. <laughs> The woman 
was rushing to go and pay 150 to scammers. But then my wife said, May we first of all call the person? Eh? May we call the girl when they say fire don't burn. She don't they want to go POS, go send 150. If you get money, bring and make her take a job. Come give me like you do last Sunday. Yeah, instead of giving it to 419, come they give me. Your joy will increase. And they call the girl. Now the girl say, now the fire burn, not be me. The girl said, I take my class I, where I they teach. Which fire burn me? Now the woman, the mother had. <laughs> what a shame. Daughter of Zion, tell somebody I will fear no evil. Tell somebody I know who I am. Even if they don't kill my picking finish. As I reach there, God will raise that child. Life and death is in our mouth. Write it down. One reason you will not fear is because you are born of God. His nature is in you. Number two, you have the light. You are not just having the light. You are the light. Tell somebody you are the light. What does light do to darkness? Light and darkness, which one wins? When light comes, darkness will do what? Give way. Matthew 14, verse, I mean 5, 14. What did Jesus say? Huh? Matthew 5, 14. What did he say? Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Tell somebody you are a light. Can I shock you what light does? John chapter 1, verse 5. Can you give me that place? John chapter 1, verse 5. John chapter 1, verse Please be fast because I'm winding up. Let me tell you what the power of light. Everybody read. And the light shine out in the midst of sickness. Shine out in the midst of diabetes. Shine out in the midst of occultic arrows and incantation. The light shines in the midst of the battles of darkness. And yet, darkness, darkness, darkness cannot cover you. Let me hear your amen. Them send the person from the river, send the person from the Kobo to me. My light will keep that person. The light shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it, darkness cannot understand it, darkness cannot cover its ray, its glory. That's who you are. You are the light. Tell somebody you are the light. Number three. Number three. What did he say? God is on my side. That's only one of the reasons why we not fear. Tell the person by one of the reasons why we not fear. It's because God is on my side. Psalm 118 verse 6. Exodus 33 14. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. Tell somebody you are not alone. Matthew 28 20. What did he say? Okay, let's read this. He said, the Lord is on my side. Because of that, I will what? Tell somebody, God is on my side. Say, I don't go fear. What did people go do to me? What did they want to do to me? I don't go fear. Because I get God. Matthew 28, 20. What did he say? Jesus said, Lo, I am with you. How long? see us as pastors challenge native doctors challenge this or that not be heard when we get not me you get answer me the reason is because we have seen a light that you have not seen we have seen the dimension of God's power that you don't understand and I pray today that same revelation comes to you number four stand up this morning Number four, evil is a shadow, not real. What did I say? Evil is what? A shadow. He said, even though I pass through the shadow of death, I will fear no what? Evil. Death is evil. 
But the thing that comes to us is not the real death. It's a shadow of what? Death. The real death is coming in the other side. Luke chapter 12, there about Jesus said, do not fear those that can kill this body. Fear him who can kill the body and kill the soul. Can you lift your hand and begin to say, Lord, from today, take away from me every spirit of fear. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. You are not praying, no. You are not praying. Lift your voice and begin to declare from today, I will fear no evil. Father, thank you because you have given me strength. Father, thank you because you have opened my eyes to see reasons why I will not fear. Open your mouth and talk to God. Whatever evil they have prepared against me, against my children, any bad news that comes across my way from today, Lord, I shall fear no evil. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I rebuke every spirit of fear from your life from today. You will no longer fear. You will not fear evil. Every threat coming to you in the day, in the night, in your dream, every bad dream that is making you not to be set to. Today, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. You shall no longer fear evil. So shall it be. Receive the power of, 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 of faith. Receive the power of boldness. Receive the grace, the spirit of God that makes God not to fear anything. Receive that same spirit today. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let's give our offering quick. We are living here now. We are living here. Let's give our offering quick. Give us a song. Let's give our offering quick. From the back, from the back. <laughs>